Good morning, ladies and gentlemen and students. It is an exciting time of the year, and welcome to Tournament Wrap-Up. We've got a tremendous show for you here today. We have the guests of our two championship contestants, Miranda Sandlin and Jason Roth. And we're going to do some interviews with all of them in anticipation of that big championship matchup between Sandlin and Jason Roth. Miranda, thank you for coming in today for championship talk. Uh, we're super excited about the championship matches and got a few questions for you. You know, you've had a tremendous, tremendous tournament run. As I look at th through the brackets, you, you've smoked everybody. First round, 108-12, to 12, beating Chelsea Henning. Uh, you, you dominated Warren Parker, 108-5. to 5. Then Miss Puente, a little tougher, 72-13. to 13. Then you came in with your core content area. You had a rough one with Sabrina Hinton. What was going through your mind is you only had an 86 to 58 victory there. What was going through your mind during that week? That was a very close week. Um, like you said, most other weeks, my kids kind of, they breeze by. I was lucky with the fourth period that just loves to go to tutorials. And I had to have a serious talk with them. We had to change our strategies. I had to say, look, you guys, just because you're getting called in, if you're not getting called, that doesn't mean you don't go. And um, I had to say, you know, we know what's important right now. We got to study for STAR that's coming up. And I just had to get them all in tutorials and just really let them know how important it was. Uh, then, of course, to get to the championship game, you doubled up Veronica Gonzalez, who is in Spanish. The one thing that people are saying, Miranda, out there is you haven't really played a tough competition bracket. What do you have to say to all those critics that say you haven't had a very tough road? Well, Miss Hinton was a core class and we still beat her too. Um, I have heard a lot of talk and my fourth period has just been doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're going to tutorials like they're supposed to be going to tutorials and they're just killing it out there. I couldn't be more proud of them. Well, Miranda, could, could you please give me, I know you don't want to predict, you're very humble, humble teacher, but could you give me a prediction on this week's tutorial and the championship outcome? You know, Mr. Roth has been putting up a tough fight. Um, I've been hearing a lot of talk from him that he's going to pull an upset, but I, I don't think he will. I think we've got some tricks up our sleeve, and I think that we're going to come out on top. Jason, thanks for coming in and talking to me today. Um, you know, a couple questions, Jason. You took a much different path than Miranda to the championship. You had some lower scores, beating McNally 32 to 27. Uh, Mr. Kastikaglu in early college, your early college counterpart, uh, 23 to 6. Mr. Whistle 13 to 9. Miss Langston 25 to 3. So what has been your mindset here as you play the giant killer, Miranda Sandlin? Well, to be honest, I'm just happy to be here. Now that I've got them not only star ready and PSAT ready and TSIA ready, I feel just super honored to be here, especially since the kids did all the work. I don't deserve any credit at all. Jason, people are saying that you've had a much more difficult road uh, to get to the championship game than, than Miranda. Um, playing all core content area tutorials. Uh, what, do you, what do you have to say about that? I believe I'm coming in with kids that have a knowledge of the content. I do believe that I have kids, since they were as low as they were, really want to go and be tutored. What do, you, what do you think? Do you think that's going to prepare you for the championship game? I do believe their ability to be literate and work hard is going to make them catch up with Sandlin. And that's, that, I'm just happy to be their teacher. And Jason, as we know, I can't leave here without getting your prediction for this championship match. Who do you like, you or Miranda? I'm gonna go with me, but there is a bit of a controversy here. Oh, I'm please. not saying that Miranda's cheating, but I am gonna say that uh, Adriana has only received one of these from me because I have no, I have found out and I caught her red-handed doing this. She took my March Madness off of the uh, 
door and see it had my name. Now it's scratched out. It says Sandlin World Geo, all the kids. She scratched out my name and wrote Sandlin all the way across. I'm not saying she's cheated, but we can't really prove that she hasn't. We also can't prove that she's not patient zero for the Zika virus. Just saying. That's heavy talk from an angry man. We will look into that from now or for now. Thank you, Jason. Appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you, sir. We're very excited to have our last guest of the show, counselor of the Early College High School program, Aaron Thompson. Welcome, Aaron. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Appreciate you being here. Um, Aaron, how does early college same conference, get two teams in the championship game? Well, really, we've been training for this day all year long. We've had an amazing tutoring document that we use every single day. Mm -hmm. And so when it came time for the championship, I just feel like we were, we've been ready. We've been ready all year. Aaron, here's the question that's got to be asked. You've got two teams, both in, in, in early college, high school. Who's going to win, Sandlin or Roth? Well, okay, so Miss Sandlin likes a good competition, mm -hmm. and she also likes a good gene day, and Mr. Roth likes to antagonize a winner and thwart a competition, so, ooh, that's a tough one, but I really think Sandlin's going to pull it out in the end, because she's serious. Aaron, thank you for being on the show. Appreciate your input. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning into the show. That's a wrap. We are going to know by Monday who that champion is. It's super exciting. Also, students, remember, get a good night's rest on Monday night because Tuesday starts that algebra uh, EOC, and Thursday is going to be the biology EOC. So get yourself some rest. Let's do good on those tests. Everybody, have a great day. Hook them horns.